the case study course, Literacy Narratives and Black Columbus, when it was first taught and developed in 2009 by Professor H. Lewis Ullman and me, originally in collaboration, I should say, with Ms. Carla Wilkes and later Ms. Adrian Owens and Ms. Sarah Twitty and Alan Coleman, had the goal of providing African-American communities on the near east side of Columbus, Ohio, a way of documenting and preserving stories about their literacy practices and values. People would tell their own stories, we hoped, for their own reasons, and then preserve them in the Digital Archive of Literacy Narratives, the DALN, and use the stories for a variety of purposes. In various years, the course has focused on documenting and preserving literacy narratives from Columbus's Near East Side and on documenting and preserving the literacy narratives in the context of the black church by inter interviewing congregation members in the African American churches here in Columbus. So who participated in that original course at Ohio State, the case study course? When we first offered the course at Ohio State University, it was taught as a second level writing course for undergraduates. However, graduate students also enrolled in a related section, a graduate level section of the course, and served as team leaders for the undergraduate class members. In this capacity, the graduate students provided invaluable help and leadership. They helped teach the undergraduates about the importance of the project, they helped them learn how to interview individuals, how to record and preserve narratives, how to communicate with community members, how to act as responsible and respectful field representatives, how to keep clear records of their work, how to share their work with community members, and how to identify the lessons they learned through these efforts. In addition, community members have been invited to join the course and serve as team leaders and liaisons to the communities with which the class members worked. When the class focused on documenting and preserving the literacy narratives of black church members, for example, the course partnered with local African American churches in Columbus, Ohio. The instructors contacted churches and asked if they would be interested in sending one or more congregation members to join the class as a liaison. These generous and knowledgeable liaisons acted as wonderful, knowledgeable core of community leaders. They introduced students to their communities. They directed students' efforts in the field. They vouched for the work of these individual students. They explained the project to other community members. And they arranged for students to meet friends and family members, help them undertake and understand respectful communications with others. Would you like to see some example community literacy collections? Check out the examples here in the Literacy Narratives in the Context of the Black Church 2011 and here the Literacy Narratives in the Context of the Black Church 2012. Both of these collections were contributed for the case study course taught at Ohio State University. This collection was made by H. Lewis Ullman, one of the original founders of the Digital Archive of Literacy Narratives.